mine now. Small-time bribery has its uses, but try to hit on the big fish to really make a neighborhood your own. A lot of police chiefs are greedy and open to suggestions. No more, not this time, Consigliere. No more meetings, no more discussions, no more Salazzo tricks. You give him one message. I want Salazzo. If not, it's all at war. We go to the mattresses, all right? Father wouldn't want to hear this. This is business, not personal, Sonny. They shot my father. That's business? You're ass. Even the shooting of your father was business, not personal, Sonny. Well, the business will have to suffer, all right? Listen, Tom, do me a favor. There's no more advice on how to patch things up. Just, just help me try to win this thing, okay? Hey, son. We'd like you to become an associate to the Corleone family. We can use a man of your abilities representing us out on the streets. The point I want to stress to you, though, if you're going to be one of our associates, is the power of negotiation, okay? Even with the way things are now, especially in times like this, use your head. A lawyer with his briefcase can steal more than a hundred men with guns. Hey, kid, listen. Believe me, if you ever have a hundred guys with guns on your side, whatever you do, don't trade them in for some fucking lawyer. <laughs> Hello. What do you need, dear? You gotta meet over at Clemenza's house in Brooklyn. I think they know who betrayed the Don.
to you, mister. It was Paulie Gatto who set up the dawn. You're gonna whack him. Today. We're gonna put his mind to ease first. Then I'll give you the signal. You'll know when it's time. I got you. I can do it. Good. You'll be making a better living after today. Here he is. Come on. Sit on the other side. That Sonny's running wild. He's thinking of going to the mattresses already. We gotta find a spot over on the west side. You know any good spots on the west side? Yeah. I think about it. Well, think about it while you're driving, will you? Pull over here. We own this restaurant. Hey, Paulie, you heard what my wife said. Run in and get me some cannoli. So what? I'm the grocery boy now? Paulie's going down today. But there's this thing we got to clean up first. A bar around the corner that the Italians got. I need you to go upstairs and pick up the weapons and the dynamite I stashed up there. Okay, but don't be shooting at me, all right? This is your last warning. Pay up or die! Don't hurt me! Please, leave me alone! Please, I don't want any trouble! Protecting my business. Follow me. I have something for you. Okay, kid, follow me. When we get there, I need you to place the dynamite on the second floor behind the bar. Then get the hell out of there. Forgive me, me and Paulie will keep an eye out downstairs. Those Italian gabones won't know what hit him.
Paulie? What are you talking about? I was covering you. Yeah. Ah, I knew you was good for something, Paulie. You make my wife very happy. <laughs> Pull over, will you? I gotta take a leak. Know when to quit, do you? Thank you. 
shoot! Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Christ. Waco! I asked you to bring us a car, not the entire fucking police force. They picked me up on a bridge. I couldn't shake it. Christ. Let's get out of here. Kid, you drive. Kid, he won't be needing his apartment. You can have it. <coughs> I need a drink. 